welcome. This is insane. Like highlight of the year. Highlight of the year if you are a GT driver. I just came home from the test at Le Mans and got a huge erection. Like a huge one. I racing, you just gave me erection. You know why? Ferrari and Ford GTE cars are out there. What more do I wish? Like I put on my Chuck Norris West because this is going this is going to a different level now. So people stay tuned. Um, to the people who don't know me, my name is Nikki Team. I'm normally doing this in real life, just for Aston Martin. So this is the perfect way for me to spy on the opponent. Uh, no, I'm using this to practice and having a lot of fun uh, with all the sim racing freaks out there and to practice for my real racing. And of course, to all my fellow subscribers, thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate every positive comments coming this way. And all the haters, keep it up, man. You keep me motivated. Let's get into it. Today, this session, woo! Um, I'm gonna give you my first impression on the Ferrari and on the Ford. Uh, Ferrari 488 GTE car. Beautiful car, like every boy loves a Ferrari. A Ferrari is just amazing. Like, yeah, I'll come back to that. And the Ford GT E car, stunning car, stunning, stunning car. Like detail work. Um, so yeah, I came home with a pulse on 12, and now it's just up to 200 because this is exciting. Like, woo! Completely excited and um, again first impression I have been driving both cars once so around five laps each I want to keep it clean I want to keep it simple and just give you my first impression uh, so yeah let's get into it first up Ferrari 488 so for all the spaghetti eating horse riding fans out there this is it um, before I start with the setup thing I can only suggest you watch my previous video. I made a setup video on Le Mans for the GT1 Aston Martin. I know, I know uh, the car is not going to be used for this weekend's 24 race, but many of the things uh, I think you, c you can use on this car. So far, the first impression is good. So I will suggest you to watch that one. Um, starting with the tri pressures, I'm just going to go fast over it. I went down, I love driving low tire pressures, so I went down to 38 um, all around. Now I at least did it. Going to the basics, the only thing I changed right now is right height, springs, all the basic stuff. Uh, dampers I haven't touched at all. So yeah, that means what you gotta start when you do the setup is springs. Rule number one, always change the spring. That is where you control the body the body of the baby and um, just control the mass massively important what I reckon for the Ferrari my first impression remember uh, I went quite soft on the front uh, the Ferrari is quite short wheelbase um, it's really really good in tight corners so like do love chicane I will explain that all when we are driving so let's keep going I want to keep it short and simple for you guys so don't get tired of me. Toe, again, as I said in the Aston video, watch it, watch it, please watch it. Not, I can only suggest you, it will only help you. So uh, that's why I'm saying it. Toe, keep it as close to zero as possible, uh, but still run some. Because I say low as possible because you want the less friction as you want. Uh, and to roll bar, I haven't really touched it, to be honest. Like This is, again, my first impression. I will just say it. And again, 90 liters, boys and girls, 90 liters. That means full tank. That's what I'm saying. Full tank. You don't want to measure your, your small wiener right now. You just want to get out there, find a basic setup, what works. Uh, and then after that, you can start the fist fight with all the other guys. So 90 liters for the Ferrari, 98 liters for the Ford. And now you think, oh, then I need to drive the redneck car. No. 
this is turbo cars. Both of them are turbo cars. Uh, that means fuel consumption can go up and down quite a lot. And again, I will come to that. Anyway, let's get serious. Take this to another level. Again, wing setting zero. We are driving a little more. 70% of this track is straight line speed. <laughs> so just go straight. Uh, yes, drivetrain. I changed it a lot. Press the pause button. Look at this. Uh, I think I got it all right. Uh, I think you can gain a lot of time on this. Again, it's a turbo. Turbo has this small, really, really power area where it pulls like a beast. And uh, you have to find the sweet spot. Find the sweet spot and you will be right up there. This is my first impression. This runs really good. In tow, without tow. Uh, car feels good. Clutch, I put it on one. I think three was the main thing. Um, sorry, I'm talking quite fast. I am just want to get over it fast and uh, don't bore you too much. 38 Newton meters and that means let's go. Let's go. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Practice for every baby. Before we go, this is the dash. Welcome to the rocket ship. Rakete, uh, uh, bitte einsteigen. Uh, really cool modern day racing car. Aston looks similar to this. Ford probably also. This is the Angry Bird in front of us. It looks like the Angry Bird, doesn't it? Um, okay, let's get serious. Dashboard. You got the normal rev light up there. Turbo car, not so much noise. Um, anyways, you got the water temperature, the gearbox temperature, fuel pressure, gearbox, everything you don't need, so don't care about that one. Uh, what you want to see is that there's two TCs on GTE cars nowadays. So it's the same for Porsche, Ferrari, Aston Martin, and Ferrari. So the TC1 is what you used to. So if I put it in first gear now, clutch, this is TC1, TC2 is like the ESP you have in your Ford Focus or whatever you're driving. Uh, when you go in those cars, when the system provides the car from sliding, so like as soon as it's, it feels it's going into a slide, it will, it, will, it will neutralize the car again. That means it saves the tires, but it's also going to hold you back. So you have to find a compromise um, in between save the, saving the tires and being fast without holding you too much back. Again, 24 hour race, folks, I know this is what you're focusing on. I'm just going to help you as much as I can. So yeah, that's in a short bit what you can do. Uh, let's press F, F8. You see here two engine maps, like throttle shape, that is just uh, really as it says engine mix you have 11 11 stages like now I know why those bastard they beat us last year because those stupid stupid I'm gonna drop an f-bomb soon I'm gonna drop an f-bomb uh, this is not good don't swear don't swear sorry folks um, you can play so much with a turbo car you can't believe it uh, in that way I mean you can cheat uh, this is a game it's safe for everyone so you cannot cheat um, if P1, of course, maximum power. Uh, I only tried one lap to do it in map five. And what I saved was around one and a half to two liters. Uh, and I was around two seconds slower. Uh, again, I only did a five lap run, so I don't don't put me on on this. To put me up on this. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna. Oof, you don't want to put me up on it. Let's go further. So yeah. Maximum power, something you really should consider is in this 24 hour race. Um, I really think there's a lot of strategy going into this one uh, this year with those cars because you can do so much again with the turbos. Um, again, beautiful car, stunning. Of course, I took the WEC livery, the original one. Look at this beautiful one, beautiful car, like again, detail work. Here we get inside the car. Uh, what you just saw there was not not a uh, television. It is a television in a way, but this is the mirror. What you see on the right there, it is actually a mirror. The cars nowadays we also have it in the Aston. 
Because it's so tight up in the back, you can't see out with a normal mirror up here. So you have a a camera on the back which shows you the rear. Let's go. I'm just gonna take you for one lap, maybe two, and uh, I'm gonna give you my impression of it. Uh, what? Again, just by going out of the pits, I'm getting an erection. Like, this is insane. Like, I racing really, really up the game on both cars. Uh, the cars really do what what I feel they should do, and I'm really impressed. So when a good toy in here, good traction, amazing traction on the cars. Freaking love it. So um, it's a shame I can't compete in the 24 hours this weekend because I have to go to Le Mans. I would love to do it, but I have to be there one week before that damn race, man. What is going on? Anyway. You can brake massively late with those cars and you can run so much curb. So just use all the track. It will help you. That's why you can run as low ride height as possible without harming anything. So you, ha you won't hear anything. Like the cars are insane. Like I'm really hyped. I'm really hyped. And this is a this is long time since I had so much fun on iRacing. So brake late, run the curbs, full power, perfect traction. Um, it's almost like the car has too much, too much aerodynamics for the power. Again, it's POP, uh, everything adjusted into balance of performance, so every car has an equal chance. Um, that means, like, my V8 Aston Martin GT Vantage has an equal chance as a Porsche GT V6 normal aspirated engine, as this Ferrari uh, turbo car, Ford turbo car. So, they're really doing a good job balancing those cars. So, each car has its own strength. Uh, Ford and Ferrari is really close to each other. I will come. I will give you advice on this. I will talk about that in just a second. So for me, this is really... Opala! Opala! For me, Ford and Ferrari and iRacing is really like copy-paste. I completely understand it. And there's probably nothing wrong with it. Because, again, everything, there is a regulation in real life. Uh, hey! uh, and all the factories and teams are working inside this regulation so that means yeah you got all the the cars inside a closed window here you again you will hear now you hear this cut in the engine and you see you even see it on the rev limiter rev, rev light it's flashing, that means that the TC2, the ESP, is working, is kicking in. Again here, run massive curbs, the car is so good on curbs. This is the, the strength, what is this guy doing? This is the strength of the Ferrari, those nipple corners, the car is really good in all the tight stuff. Um, like the corner we come up to now, Dunlop Chicane. It's just a driver, just screw it up. Um, I'm just gonna run this first sector. Like, I love this, I love it. Brilliant job, brilliant job. I'm just gonna run until the first chicane. Uh, because I'm gonna show you something. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait. Uh, uh, until we get down there, thank you for all the great.
comments on the previous video. I really appreciate it. I try and answer as quickly as I can. And now I'll come to this corner. I've got to show you this cool thing. You see down at the, the shift lights, you see those lights. So you, in those cars, you got so much help. And what you see here is the brake light. So you see first one, and then you see two. So when you see one, you are really on the limit. And when you see two, you're screwed. So like, uh, forget about it. That is locking lights, so that's locking for the front. Uh, I'm just gonna get off the track. And uh, yeah, it's locking lights. So you can really, you have good help there. I'm just gonna show the car from the outside and we're gonna go there. Um, that means you can really see when you're close to locking and it helps you quite a lot. It's big help uh, and try and get used to it. Um, Talking about locking tires, iRacing finally, finally uh, worked out the problem. I reckoned uh, that when you locked the tires, you had so much under the, the, the corner you were going into because the tires would just overheat like crazy and you could turn as much as you want. And um, this, they figured it out. Like they say they figured it out, what they, what they wrote was uh, only the spot where you, where you lock the tire uh, is going to be overheated. Um, so anyway, what they're saying is that they just turn, turn the sensitivity down. Uh, that was the Ferrari. I'm just going to show you the setup again. Like 138 tire pressure, really good. Lowest right height on the front. I run quite the same on the rear, so really neutral car. You can probably want more rake that means you low you raise the rear uh, but you have to find your style like how much rotation you want springs i want what i run one or two clicks harder on the rear springs than on the front to get this rotation uh, and again full fuel that's really it uh, i'm just gonna sh ship you on uh, to this page because I'm gonna go out now and I'm gonna find the Ford for you. This is the car I'm running. This is not just to make uh, some commercial for me. Uh, no, this is just, actually this is the car we are running at Le Mans in two weeks against the Ferrari and against the Ford. Um, so yeah, that's really it. I think my boss is gonna be pissed at me for doing this. But hey, I'm just doing a spy job. I'm actually spying on the opponent, which is good. Um, just gonna find a session here. Gonna take this one. So yeah, this is it. Ford GT. E car. Ford GT. GTE. Whatever you call it. Stunning, stunning looking car. Uh, if you even can call it a GT car, because this is a prototype. You should see this car naked. Unbelievable. Crazy machine. Um, you will even see it when we get inside the car. And um, yeah, I've got to show you around. Let's get back. I'm just loading the, the session. There we go. And here I'm back. Bam! And yeah, for GT again, just uh, when we have this short downloading phase. For me, first impression was it's a copy paste thing. I understand it completely. I would do the same as iRacing. It's one week before the one of the biggest events on iRacing, the 24 hours of Le Mans. Uh, it would not work that one car is better than the other but again they fine-tune it really good and each car in my opinion has small advantage here and there uh, again I haven't been driving the cars enough to say really much about it but I am still gonna uh, give you my my input my feeling of it uh, I hope you appreciate it um, if not I don't care this is uh, this is fun this is fun I'm really having fun again this is bringing the fun back into to sim racing 
uh, those cars are just my style makes sense because this is what I'm driving um, to come back to the cars like each car has small advantage um, like the corner you see now on the screen the last four chicane the Ferrari is really good the first chicane the Dunlop chicane the Ferrari is really good um, the two chicanes uh, is a bit in between uh, and then coming to the Ford the Porsche curves this car is absolutely stunning like high speed corners this car I can't believe how much grip and the stability this car provides you uh, I freaking love it I would not say I have a favorite uh, yet uh, but I just love the balance of this car again let's jump into it rednecks GM supporters this is it baby this is it this is your house uh, Ford GTE let's go run 138 tire pressures again I like running low tire pressures jump into the big one what you see here is you don't have a spring on this car you have something else it's torsion bar uh, it does the same as a spring so if you go higher it will make it thicker in a way uh, again I'm not driving this car so prove me uh, don't yeah if I'm wrong I'm wrong uh, because I have no clue about this it would be strange if I did because uh, yeah, then I would be a proper spy. Uh, so yeah, what you do is, if you go up, you get more chassis control, uh, more weight control of the chassis, what a spring does. And when you go lower, you get more roll, you get more mechanical grip. And uh, you see, I have it on 19 and you got, yeah, those four stages. So yeah, I run it 19, I will probably run it 18. I like it softer, but uh, we're gonna stick with it here. Again, lowest ride height as possible. Always, always, always. I run a little bit more rake in this car. Um, probably a bit too much. I'm just gonna go back. Oh, wrong way. I'm just gonna adjust it here and now. Right here, right now. Right here, my house. Hey. Um. A little bit more rake, otherwise torsion bar on the rear, adjusted a bit, 21, again full fuel, this is 98 liters on this one, zero ring, small and soft anti-robo on the rear. Uh, that's really it, go over here, clutch 1, preload 45, and again press pause and watch the, the gear ratio. This is a fine tuning, this is my first impression, I just clicked here and there, and then I hope this is working. Hi! Uh, let's go on to it. Let's go on, let's go on. So we're here. Again, we have this beautiful 62 inches flat screen just in here, uh, in the middle. Back camera. Crazy sound from the Ford. Uh, you hear it from the outside. As in the Ferrari, you got the boost, and you got this throttle thing and you got the two TC's so yeah that's really it let's go welcome to another rocket ship like this is really feel like take me to the moon baby you sit so low because the car is so flat like this is like an arrow in the wind uh, perfect car uh, for this track because it has no drag at all just stunning car again it sounds like it it sounds like it's taking maximum 3000 rpms but it's a turbo car it sounds uh, it just sounds like this it's like a formula one car boring not like our v8 v8 power proper v8 power um, this is a turbo and again, try and find the sweet spot. I don't know how you would do it, but you could probably, if you have too much time, uh, you kicked out your girlfriend, you're depressed, sit down, figure out the gear ratio. It will help you. That's my family tip. Again, one massive curve. You can do it. The car can do it. Use the track. Very important, use the track.
starting car. Like again, this is proper taking to me to the moon. Like, <laughs> woo! Brake late. Put in pressure. 70 bar is, a, is enough. Nice drift, man. Run a lot of curve, run on the track. And here we go. Really great car. Great car. So much fun to drive. Again, the car does what I feel it should do, what I would love it to do. Uh, comparing to, uh, to my real racing stuff. Uh, this is, again, I racing. Spot on, baby, spot on. And this is definitely gonna be a popular class. I hope they're gonna bring a third car, maybe Aston Martin. Uh, we're gonna bring the new GT next year, and it's gonna be a weapon. Eine Waffe! And um, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, maybe Porsche. Uh, maybe the Corvette. Uh, it's American game, so maybe you should uh, try and talk to Redneck GM Motorsport about doing this. So yeah, this is this is where you're gonna fall in love with this car. This is. I hope I get it right now. Uh, but here. In this section, the car is absolutely mega. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! Brilliant stuff. <laughs> what the fuck was that? So yeah, this is actually where the car is working really good. So, <laughs> oh my god, I just sold it completely wrong. Uh, I really. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, good stuff. You, know, you see here how perfect the car is laying on the track. No, seriously. <laughs> seriously, this is good. The car is amazing for the Porsche curves if you just get the entry right. Again, brake late, take a lot of curb. And don't drift it like I do there. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here. This is it. Show is over, folks. <laughs> Uh, last lap of the 20 hour for our race, I just ran out of the Ford GK in a Ford. Um, let's see that again. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh uh, car control. Oh, yeah. Oh, great con con Oh, last lap. Um. Where did it go? So, yeah, folks. That's really it. Um, I'm just gonna watch Andrew. Here we go, Andrew. You're the man. You're the man. You're the man. P1 with no time set. You're still my man. Uh, Ferrari. There we go. And where is it? Oh, they're pulling each other. Oh, those cheeky bastards. And the Ford. So yeah, here we go. And the Ford. Two absolutely stunning vehicles. Um, sim races, this would really provide you some great fun. Uh, I can only suggest you coming in here, trying those cars if you haven't done it. Uh, if you have any questions um, for anything, maybe I figured something out, just ask me and I will try and do my best to answer it and give you some uh, advice uh, on it what my impression is and what you should do otherwise for all the new subscribers and spectators thank you for coming here thank you for watching um, and hope to see you out there on track it's great fun and I love it that's really it I'm gonna pull the plug take care Remember to get in there, this is where you find all my real racing stuff, where you can follow me uh, throughout the 24 hours of Le Mans, in, which is up in one and a half weeks. Uh, the real deal, baby. So yeah, please get in there, I would appreciate it. 
otherwise i wish you good luck for this weekend's 24 hours here on iRacing uh, take care remember to stay fair and have fun bye folks yeah